Hey guys, welcome to the Backpack Nomads channel. In this week's video, we're gonna show you how to book cheap flights. Recently, we've been getting a lot of questions from people asking us, how do we book our cheap flights? Well, stick around and find out. Do you wanna see more of our videos? Hit the subscribe button below. Do you like our video? Give us a big thumbs up. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section below and we'll answer them. Stick all the way till the end of this video because we got one golden tip on how to book cheap flights. So you probably want to know how we do it. Let's start this video. Boom. Okay, so how to start? First of all, you need a search engine. And what is that? A search engine finds and compares all the different prices and companies so you can find the cheapest one. And here is our five favorite search engines. It's Kayak, Skyscanner, Momondo, Google Flights and Flygria Sura. So some of these websites have really cool features. For example, Skyscanner has a button, the Take Me Anywhere button, where you just fill in your departure place and Skyscanner automatically suggests some destinations that are very cheap at that moment. Momondo has a really cool chart where it tells you on which day it is cheaper to fly, which can come in really handy sometimes. Google Flights has an incredible world map with all the possible flying destinations on it, plus the prices. So it's really good if you need some inspiration. Okay, so a few things to keep in mind if you want to find that really, really cheap flight is to be flexible. You need to be flexible with destination and where you fly from. So for example, if you live in Amsterdam, check from all the surrounding big airports. From, for example, Paris, London, Copenhagen, Brussels, and you're gonna have better chance to find that really cheap flight. And if you're really, really flexible, let the search engine find your destination. He's gonna find the cheapest one. Also be flexible with dates. Search for all the days of the week and I guarantee you, you're gonna find that flight you are looking for. When is the best time to book your flight? We did a lot of research and we can conclude that it's the cheapest to fly on Tuesday and Wednesday. What does that mean? Don't fly in the weekends because everybody's flying in the weekends. Also, don't fly on popular holidays. Air companies know this and they turn up the prices automatically. So that's a no-go. So travel when nobody else wants to travel. For example, take flights early in the morning late in the evening that can really help you out to find a cheap flight. How much time in advance do you need to book your flight? Again, we did some research and we figured out that six months in advance is the cheapest to book your flight. Also, last minute flights is a 50-50% chance that you get or a really cheap one or a really expensive one. So it's up to you guys. And of course we compared all the search engines and the cheapest one is Momondo. We did a lot of research and 99% of the time Momondo was the cheapest. The one that is right behind is Flygresor.se. It's a Swedish site and we had to bring this up too because the prices are just so good on this site. So even though Momondo is the cheapest one, it is really good to combine the search engines to find that one cheap flight. For example, we go into googleflights.com. We open up the world map. I get inspired by all the destinations I see. And then we pick one. And when you find that flight, you type the same flight into Momondo. And with the weekly chart, you pick the cheapest date in that week. And I guarantee you, you'll have a cheap flight. So another little tip is to go into the website of the company itself and see if they offer cheaper flights. Because sometimes the flight companies, they keep the cheapest prices for their customers on their websites. Hey guys, another tip. Split your route and make your own combos. I have an example right here and I'm going to show you. For example, you want to fly from Brussels to Bangkok, that will cost you 307 euros. This is a real flight, by the way. So, I saw that this flight had a stopover in Moscow. So what we did was, 
we searched separate flights. So from Brussels to Moscow, it would cost us 67 euros. And from the day after, from Moscow to Bangkok, it would cost us 173 euros, which in total would be 240 euros, which is a difference of 67 euros with the original flight. So, I mean, that's almost 70 euros. You can go and have a nice dinner for that, right? Blah. Okay, so always try to fly from big and known airports. The bigger they are, the more options they have and mostly the cheaper prices they have too. And also, avoid to pay for luggage. Always travel with carry-on bags. It helps you to get off and on the plane way easier and faster. And soon we're gonna come out with a new video how to pack your bag. So watch out for that one. Okay guys. The moment you've all been waiting for, le moment suprême, the golden tip. So what is the golden tip? When you search for flights, always go in incognito. Erase your browser history, erase your cookies, everything, because flight companies track it and they turn up the prices. This is for real. You have a lot of print screens out there that show you the difference, so always remember incognito, erase your history, erase your cookies. This was Backpack Nomads. Over now! Okay, so this was all of our best tips. Follow these steps and I will guarantee that you will find that very cheap flight. Be patient and take the time you need and be flexible. You might end up on a place you never thought of. Guys, This back, was Backpack back Nomads! Backpack back Nomads! Yes, if you have any complaints, if you don't find that cheap flight, we will pay it for you. What was that number? Yeah. <laughs> we don't have any money, by the way. <laughs> so guys, don't forget to like, subscribe to this video. If you have any questions or tips or if you want to share your experiences with finding cheap flights, comment section below guys and let us know. Peace out!